Hey everyone, it's Alex here and more audio freebies from Isotonic. Modular series early Max for Live devices. We've already looked at the first three in pack one and now we're gonna have a look at pack two which contains the devices clip to scene, clip warp and return. So whenever you get any of these devices, you can always choose to show default lesson by right clicking in the pack. And this provides a nice little overview for each device. There's also help or info notes in the help section of Ableton just here in the bottom left if you are stuck and not knowing what control does and these are really useful I use them all the time so the first device is this handy clip to scene it's quite a unique little device that allows you to rename the scenes that you have depending on the names of each of the clips we could change this to something like happy xmas from satonic kiss kiss whatever and then you can choose to rename and it's just going to rename the scenes with the information from the clip. I can see this being useful if you're putting together more complex sets. I mean, you can use live in so many ways as a live electronic performer. If you're playing with real life musicians in bands, the possibilities are almost limitless. I could see this being handy if you had some kind of set set up like that and you just wanted to, you were creating clips and you were changing them and then you just wanted to quickly rename all of the scenes. This would be really useful for that. The second device is Clip Warp. This could be useful on any kind of audio material that you've got. So I'll put it on the breaks here. If we just open up the info view, we have the ability to turn warping on or off in the clip. If I turned it off now, this clip wouldn't loop. So if we just press play on this. Got this kind of, um, think break running here. Now we can choose to adjust the warping from this drop down menu. If the X is set on as it was with the nudge device in the earlier video, it's gonna be, it's gonna happen automatically. Or immediately I should say. Now you're not gonna hear this because the tempos are pretty similar for the clip as it came in. So let's put this right down. Let's turn the bass off. Yeah, and there you can hear, you can hear the warping happening immediately, or you can choose to implement this when you press set. Nice and simple. You also have this really cool kind of switching between two warping modes that you're able to do. If we have the, I like repitch, and then we have the second one as texture, that gives some cool, like almost time stretchy sounds. And by toggling between this switch, <laughs> really cool. Again, this would be a really cool like live thing that you could uh, you could program a controller to to accept uh, a MIDI message. I think you have to make sure that you have this map button on if you're going to do stuff like that. Nice. Very nice, really cool. You could probably get quite creative with that and do some do some interesting kind of warping and record, record the results. So the final device is Return, which allows you to control effects on return channels or auxiliary channels from anywhere in the live set. I've got this Echo device, I'm just gonna group it. I'm gonna map the, the feedback to Macro 1. I could, I could be on this Breaks channel, put the Return device in, select from the drop down in it which return channel I want to control the effects on, and you can see that the feedback's already been pulled in there. Very nice, nice and simple. I could see you doing some kind of intricate mapping on the effects here and then controlling it all maybe from one channel. Just for, for convenience as to where you might, how you might have your set organized and the kind of things that you, you want to do. These are just really, really tools and I can see they're create Activity and, and, and the possibilities really coming out the more you use them. This is why Max for Live is great and why, why these kind of devices are great because they just expand the creative opportunities that you have with Live. Head on over to Isotonic, get them, they're free. 
get them in your toolkit and you never know when you might be able to put them to use creatively.